Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, and I apologize for not getting up videos on Mondays. I end up sleeping in a little bit longer, and because uh, I'm just exhausted, and um, I plan on changing that. Uh, once we move into the new house, my plans are to get up every morning at about the same time that I normally get up when I'm not exhausted. And I'm going to be walking, jogging, um, because they actually have an area outside of this house that I feel comfortable walking and jogging in. It's not, it's very secure. So um, I plan on doing that just because when I used to do that, I felt amazing. And especially in the mornings, I like working out in the mornings because you feel like pumped up for the rest of the day. So that's the plan. I'm going to be getting up at the same time because it takes less time to get to my work from the new place. So um, I plan on getting up at the same time, using the time I would be commuting to work out, and then do the video and uh, you know eat breakfast and all that jazz and get ready for work and go. So that's the plan once I move in, and that should be starting up next Monday. Although I'm not entirely sure if the schedule will be completely on by next Monday. And again, it might have to be Tuesday because uh, I, A, it's probably going to be a wreck still. We're still going to be putting things away. There's boxes everywhere. B, um, I don't know about the internet situation. Internet out where this place is sucks. It's like in a black hole. There's no cable internet. There's no DSL. The only internet available to you is dial-up or satellite or the use of hotspots from like the mobile companies. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself um, a hotspot and because uh, that way I can bring it wherever with me and use it. And I'm hoping, I've never used it before, I'm hoping it's better than satellite internet. Dial-up I had a long time ago, and I'm not sure if they've improved it since I've had it, but I'm sure it's still just as slow. And satellite I have had, and what I don't like, which the hotspot has limits as well, is that they charge you a ton of money, they cap you out, and then the internet isn't even very fast at all. And uh, like I've tried playing World of Warcraft on it, and I would push like an action key and it takes about four seconds for it to actually register in the game, which was very, very tough to raid or anything else. PvP was absolutely no. I had to basically play WoW to enjoy the story. And even then, some quests I couldn't complete because the lag was so bad that unless I was several levels over it, I couldn't do anything. So I have experienced satellite internet before. haven't experienced hotspots. Um, they're probably going to be about the same, but I'd like to at least try it out. And as I said, at least it's mobile. I can take it places with me that also does not have internet. Um, there's still limitations on it, but I feel that it's probably the best option right now. So that's the plan. I'm actually going to go Friday to the Best Buy store and make my own account and get a hotspot and everything like that. Um, I'm going to Best Buy because our local Verizon store, the people that work there are so rude. It's like not even, it's not even funny. Like you go in there and they all like glare at you. Like, why did you come into the store? Why do we have to help you? It's, it's really, it's sad. And, and I'm not the only one that thinks that either. Like there are multiple people that live in this town that have been like, like, oh, I would rather go to Best Buy and I would rather go to this store than deal with the people at Verizon because all of them are just assholes and I'm like yep some people have even driven to the Verizon store in nearby towns to go like 30 minutes away to get to have them handle their account rather than the people in this store because they're just so bad and I'm sure that there's some people that are nice there but never when I've gone <laughs> so Yes, but that's the plan. I'm going to go to Best Buy and talk to the Best Buy people because I enjoy the Best Buy people a lot more. So that's Friday. And then um, I still have a lot to do, but I'm taking it like room by room. So like last night, I like went into the bathroom. I emptied out everything 
um, I, I at least kind of started to clean so that it wasn't as big of a job on Saturday when we move out. So I, you know, scrubbed everything down and swept the floor and everything and then let it be. And then tonight I'm going to tackle like all my clothes and the closet and all that stuff. And then tomorrow I'll tackle like the kitchen and, um, then I should be done ish. I mean, until Saturday when I have to like really clean and really do stuff. So yeah, it will really do stuff. I'm really doing stuff. I was really scrubbing the bathroom last night. I'm just, you know, what I mean is like lifting, moving, actually gathering things that we've been leaving here so we could use it until the very last day. So, uh, that's the plan at least. And then also if you read my written blog yesterday, it was about zero tolerance for rudeness. Um, there are some people that have thought that that comment that I used as an example was directed towards me. At least I think they might have thought that. Um, that's not the case. That, that comment did not have to do with me at all. I found that on another website of someone um, that is also a female gamer, but uh, she gets harassed a lot. So, um, I, she takes lots of screenshots and everything else. So I took that screenshot and then I just cropped out like, cause she leaves the names on it and everything. <clears throat> and so I cropped out the name and everything and I just posted the actual comment. Um, but that was not directed towards me. I personally have never received anything really negative necessarily. Um, I've had some people be extremely condescending, which I don't necessarily like, but I don't think that that's necessarily rude, as I would call it. I mean, it is rude, but it's not something that aggravates me or, like, you know, makes me feel horrible or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm having, like, allergies this morning. <clears throat> um, so anyway, and then... I've, I've had a couple of people say like rude things, but I usually just delete the comment and then if they c continue posting rude things, I eventually just block them, you know, because it's like, I want to create a positive environment for all of us. I don't want people messaging insults to one another. I don't, I don't mind cussing. I'm not like that much of a goody goody. I don't mind cussing, but I don't want it directed towards another human being trying to make them feel bad about themselves. So you can read the post if you want to. Um, it just gives my stance on like rudeness and, and negative comments and stuff like that. But I just wanted to let people know that are watching that comment was not directed towards me and I don't receive comments like that as of right now. I'm sure in the future there will be some, but um, I hope to take quick action against them because I, I just don't want to deal with that. And it's my channel, so I can do what I want. So... Um, but there's that. And then also today, Wallace and Gromit is going up. And on Thursday, Sam and Max is going up. And I'm actually playing Sam and Max right now. And I've already finished episode one and I'm on to episode two. And uh, I at first I was really weirded out by it because I'd never played the previous Sam and Max games. And But I'm really starting to like it now. Like I'm actually craving playing it. Which sucks though because I haven't had any time to play because I'm moving so I'm just sitting there staring at it on my desktop like, <sighs> sorry, we can't, we can't do this right now. So, and, um, oh God, I just hope that everything goes okay with the internet. Just uploading videos and downloading games to play the 30 minutes to put the 30 minute videos up. It's just going to be, it's going to be a test, but we can handle it. So... Yeah, but I'm anyway, I'm playing Sam and Max, and then next week my plan is to post uh, Back to the Future. Um, I think episode one is called Out of Out of Time, and then uh, Skull Knots Un Unlimited. Sorry, I almost mixed it up with the one that's coming out. Um, I'm gonna I want to do Scribble Knots Unlimited because Scribble Knots Unmasked comes out the following Tuesday, and I'm gonna try to get my hands on that and do the first 30 minutes of that. So uh, Scribble Knots is just adorable, by the way. If you haven't played any of the Scribble Knots games, 
it will melt even the coldest of hearts. It is so friggin' adorable. Even if you're a guy, you don't have to tell anyone. You don't have to tell anyone. It's adorable to play. And the unmasked one that's coming out, I don't know if you know this or not, it's supposed to be like set in the DC universe. So there's like, you go to, oh, excuse me, you go to Superman's home planet and I guess the Bat Cave is like your main operations area and of course there's Wonder Woman and I mean there's there's so many I guess apparently there's like over 2,000 characters in it so even like the most well-known ones to like the most like I mean you, you only the most avid of fans will probably know some of the more just like discreet ones discreet that's probably not the right word to use unknown not well known much better okay um so there's that and i don't remember beyond that week what the next couple of weeks after that brings but don't worry i will definitely i'll keep you guys posted i have had re requests and if i have a little bit of extra time once i'm settled into the new house i'm going to try to do three a week instead of two a week to try to get people's requests in um i know capsized was one of the requests that i had and I have that planned, but it's not in the, it's not till December because I, I actually I, I've this is this is how much I'm trying to like make my life more simple right now. Um, I have planned my blog posts slash game posts all the way through to the end of the calendar year, so the end of December. Um, so capsized is around then. I might move it up because someone requested it. Um, but that's where it is right now. And that's why I want to do like the third video a week sometimes because since I've already planned it out and if people request something that I haven't already planned out, I want to try to get it up there as soon as possible. So that's the plan. What I need to get, what I need to get for myself. Oh God, I've only got, already gone on for 12 minutes. I'm sorry. Um, I'll finish this thought and then go on. What I need to purchase myself to progress my cat's having another asthma attack. Oh no. Um, what I need to get to progress is I need to get Bandicam because I know that it records some of the video in games that Fraps does not. Like for example, um, on my old channel, I tried doing The Longest Journey and the cutscenes would not record. You could hear the sound, but you couldn't see the cutscene like when I would record it on Fraps. And apparently on Bandicam, it's different. You can actually record the video. Same thing with like Star Wars The Old Republic. It's an older game. The cutscenes will not record for whatever reason. And apparently Bandicam will record it. So I want to have both Fraps and Bandicam so that that way if there's a game that people really want to see, hopefully one or the other will be able to capture it. And then the other thing I need to get is a capture device for the consoles that I own because I would like to do like the first 30 minutes of Okami, which is my favorite video game, and um, the first 30 minutes of like the different Final Fantasies, um, just like so many different console games that I own that I would like to do the first 30 minutes of, besides just what's available on the PC. So that's the plan, but of course those things cost money, so I will probably have to wait until I get like Christmas money or Christmas bonus or just save my money up in general because since I bought my new computer that was like a big expense and so and I don't know if it's the same for everybody I don't think it is I think it might be it's different times of year but it seems to happen with my stuff my car that my insurance my registration um, my AAA membership um, everything all the bills come in these fall months right before Christmas and then there's Christmas that you have to buy everybody presents and so it's like this this time of the year leaves me a little bit broke it just does it leaves me I love this time of year like I absolutely love it it's my favorite time of year fall and Christmas time love them to death but they definitely drain my pockets so <laughs> Anyway, but I've talked for long enough. I'm really sorry that it went on this long. I meant to stay under 10 minutes and then I just rambled on. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Again, if you have more um, 
suggestions for me. I've linked my Steam account below so you can see like what games I already own. As I said, I won't be able to buy more necessarily for a little bit um, until maybe the Steam holiday sale, something like that. So if there's ones that aren't on my list, let me know because I need to plan to save for them, that type of thing. And uh, that's it until tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.